it's obviously today, first day of spring practice. Um, I think as a coach, you, you're always excited about that. Obviously, the last four weeks, we've been able to be with our football team, which has been really exciting for myself and our staff. I think the whirlwind of the last two and a half months, it was really good to get back around our football team and really start to install what we look for in our football program. And obviously, a foundation of great attitude and effort is our starting point. And um, I thought we really made good strides in those areas the last two weeks. And obviously, you know, we'll take a look at what today's practice looked like day one. And we've got a lot of work to do. Our kids know that. I know that. But uh, we'll take it one day at a time. So with that said, I'll certainly open up to you guys questions you may have. Yeah, you know, I, I think obviously repetition and opportunity is, you know, really are at a premium right now at that position. And obviously some guys that have played some snaps. You know, Nick Fed played a little bit last year. Obviously, J.P. Filber played some. So I, I think really it's a matter of starting at square one. You know, it's ironic because we kind of did the same thing a year ago at Toledo, and, you know, we've been down that road, and we'll just take it one day at a time. I think, you know, the key for us is to go as that offensive line goes in terms of how we install plays, and that's okay. You know, I'd rather come out with a great foundation to who we are offensively coming out of spring practice rather than trying to do too much all at once. Well, you know, and I think if you – that's a great question. I think if you look at our history of our own line – that's always been the case, you know, and the reality of it, anybody should be able to play anywhere, any of the five spots. And so I think that's big. I think we've already addressed that and talked about it through the winter with the young men that there's really not even a depth chart right now. And you saw I didn't even put one. I, I told our guys it's a rep chart, <laughs> quite honestly. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it all out. We'll see what guys' skill sets match, what our expectation is for each position. And that's not just on the old line. It's really across the board right now. And then we'll, we'll make our decisions based off of that. I think obviously my like, you know, as, as, as a guy that my challenge to him is to continue to get better. Obviously, it was nice to have a great year last year, but, you know, I, I've said this, and I'll, I'll continue to say this about Michael, is you've gone from the guy that's kind of the hunter to now being the guy that's going to be the hunted, and that's a big change. And, you know, the expectations rise, and that's what's hard about having success early in a career is do you have the mental capability to press and get better, you know, week in, week out, year in, year out? And Mike's certainly under that microscope right now. So, you know, I, I think he's had a good winter. He's going to have to continue to have a great spring to continue to match my expectations and I think probably your expectations for Mike. And then equally, I think it's nice to have Sheldon, you know. Um, Sheldon, obviously, a tough injury. You know, we're working him back into the groove. I, I really like what he brings to the table. I've been able to watch his high school tape to see what his capabilities are. I think he's a very capable football player. But again, how does he come back from the injury? What's it look like when there's contact? What's it look like over a long period of time? I think that's a that's a great unknown right now. Mitch Harger is another young man. I, I'll be honest with you. I think he's got a tremendous skill set and I'm really excited to see what he can do. You know, I think if you really watched the games last year and watch what he did when he was in, he, he's a guy that's a very capable football player. So, I, again, I've got great expectations for Mitch. So, and we'll see, obviously, with some young guys coming in. You know, I, I think the raving part from my end is the body types and the body structures probably more than anything. You know, I, I think one of the things that I, I've really appreciated and, and looked at is the size of those guys in there. And really, as you break down the videotape, and this wasn't consistent, but there's flashes from all those guys in that interior defensive line that says, hey, they can be really good players on this level, especially playing in the Big 12 schedule. And so my challenge is, can that now be a consistent play? And I think that's what we have to bring to the table with these guys. And again, that goes more so than, than just showing up one game or you know sporadically through a 12-game season. It's the ability to dominate and play with great consistency, get in great shape, great mental effort, and have the ability to play. But I think we really like the skill set of the young men that are playing for us in there. Obviously, the guys that, that are here, you know, I think those guys, it's been really fun to watch those guys. You know, I, I again, you talk about a guy like Joel Lanning, and I'll start with Joel. And Joel has, I think if you really, again, go back, watch the film, really evaluate it. Joel brought a lot to the table the last five games last year. You know, he added some energy to the offense. He really played well and capable throughout the last five games of the season. And I think now it's a matter of him being comfortable and yet continuing to strain to grow as quarterbacks have to. And so I think he's really taken that personal and really done a great job in terms of leading and growing within our offense now. And now I have to learn that new terminology. You know, Dom is a guy that I think we're all excited about. That I'm going to be honest with you. He's been a surprise maybe over the last four to five weeks. He had a great winter. Um, really proud of him and, and really proud of his attention to detail. And then some of the new guys, you know, Zeb, 
we just announced our Champions Club today, you know, and that's that's um, it's really a, a six to eight week first quarter. You know, we break the, the the season into four quarters, and that first eight weeks back, winter workouts included. And here's a young freshman that come in here his first eight weeks of college football, and, and he's in that Champions Club, which many had a great winter, many got stronger, many competed in our winter drills, and heck, came out with a winning record. And you know, I think Zeb just gets it. He loves football, and so I think he's brought a lot to the table. And then you know, you talk about you obviously you talk about Kyle Kemp. I think Kyle and Kyle's relationship and my relationship is knowing Kyle. Uh, obviously, Kyle comes into our program as a as a preferred walk on. Um, you know, had a had went to Oregon State on scholarship, played at a really good high school football program over in Northeast Ohio, Maslin, Ohio, which is kind of in my hometown. So went through the recruiting process a little bit when I was at Toledo with Kyle, and you know, I just think familiarity is what brought him here and an opportunity. And so again, we'll see how that continues to go over over the course of time. But Kyle's a great young man. He really loves the game of football. And again, he's competitive. And I, I think the common theme that I hope you hear from the quarterback position, I would hope under our regime, is you love the game of football. You're, you're gym rats. And, and I think all those guys really have that mentality so far, which I appreciate. You know, I, I think that's our starting point right now because, I, again, length. I, I'm a big believer in length in terms of cornerback play. And, you know, Jay's a guy that, again, had a phenomenal winner for us. And we kind of said, as we, we really evaluated the videotape, is he better off closer to the football? Or is he better off maybe farther away from the football where he can use his length and his skill? And, you know, obviously, Jay may not be the fastest corner that we have, but his length and his power and his strength, and he, he is loose. So it's kind of a starting spot, probably a little bit exploratory from our side of things. But, you know, you talk about guy being a situational player and maybe even growing into a guy that's really comfortable there. I think we'll see. But that's where our starting point is with Jay. Again, Allen's another one of those guys that a lot like Kamari, you, you, you come into it and you just have the utmost respect. But to me, you find out why, why was there that respect of what you saw on videotape from a year ago. And here's a young man, I think his record in our winter workout program was 115 to 20. Um, you know, it was staggering. He had a phenomenal winner in terms of what we expect from him in terms of leadership. And it doesn't surprise me when I go out and I see him. I think, you know, even some plays he made today in practice were pretty spectacular. He's that guy, but he's that guy every day. And until we get more of guys like that every day, not just the flash in the pan guy, you know, that's our challenge. But it's great to have your best players be some of your most consistent people on and off the football field. And obviously, Alan brings that to the table for us.